The San Francisco Examiner is in hot water tonight after a bullseye was edited over San Francisco Supervisor Dean Preston's face. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meeback. The image sparking disapproval from a number of groups and readers, some even saying it could possibly incite violence. New at 10, KTVU's Amber Lee live in San Francisco with reaction from Preston and the Examiner. Amber? Mike, the supervisor describes the image as provocative and tells me he wouldn't wish it on his political enemies. The examiner has issued an apology. It's still shocking to me that the examiner would publish this. San Francisco supervisor Dean Preston is referring to this image of himself with a bullseye on the front page of the examiner's Wednesday edition. It's completely out of line, and I think especially in this time with rising political violence and hatred, you know, that we're seeing in San Francisco and beyond. The image accompanied an article about Grow SF, a political action committee formed by citizens and their plans to oust Preston. Preston, a self-described democratic socialist. This comes on the heels of the violent attack on Paul Pelosi, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband, that appears to be politically motivated. I'm certainly, you know, uh, no stranger to getting criticism from the media, but that that is a very different thing than them publishing, and not just publishing, creating an image. The Examiner published the image both online and in hard copies distributed at newspaper racks. One of our artists did it. Uh, without thinking. I think it was thoughtless and I apologize for it. I mean, it's one thing for them to report on it, that's fine, uh, but they shouldn't be really amplifying it and inciting this kind of, you know, really inciting political violence. Criticism of the examiner was posted on social media. The Jewish Community Relations Council calls on the examiner to remove this graphic suggestive of violence immediately. Preston is Jewish. The examiner, you know, certainly doesn't advocate uh, violence against any political figure, uh, never has. We would never uh, condone or support or promote uh, such messaging. There is now an editor's note with an apology in the online version of the article. Leadership in the city, whether in the media or in political circles uh, or among advocates, is about not fanning those flames of hate, of political violence. The electronic edition of the examiner with that image remains up. Clint Riley, the examiner's publisher and editor, tells me there are no plans to remove it there and he will not stop distribution of hard copies. He says there will be another apology published in tomorrow's edition. Mike? Amber Lee, live tonight in San Francisco. Amber, thank you. New at 10.